Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a program that can calculate the gravitational force between space rocks. It could be the Earth and the Moon, Earth and the Sun, or yeah, so so far so good type shit. So to do that, um, we got to have the masses of both the planets multiplied together. So mass one and mass two. And then the distances, we're going to have to find the square of the distances, okay? So mass n squared the distances. And then after that, we're going to have to divide the, what's it called, the multiplication of the two masses and the, what's it called, the square root of the distances. I mean, the, the power the power of two of the two distances, okay? Of g and g is basically the power of the two distances. I mean, the distance between the two planets, the power of two, basically. And this is going to be uh, then. Then afterwards, we're gonna we're gonna have to what's it called? Uh, find the uh, what's it called. Once we we divide the what's it called the mass mass what's it called the two masses of the planets, and we divide it by the distance, uh, the distance squared of the two planets, we're gonna get PE. And then to find the uh, what's it called the. Uh, what's it called the gravitational force between the two planets it's going to be h which is going to be uh, pe times the real constant and this is the real constant for and if you're wondering what's the real constant so it says g is, is newton's universal gravitational constant it's the proportional it's the what's called proportional constant that gives the force between two masses so it's a way of uh, finding proportion between masses so like like proportion is basically like we're trying to find in what the mass is like in proportion to what basically if you so we can say that like the shoe is heavy but in in, re in relation to why is the shoe heavy you know type shit so yeah so the real constant is 6.64 so it's gonna be like uh i said like uh it's a, it's a decimal number i guess it's a decimal number so just i'm just gonna write it like this because it's better for the computer to understand this because it's it's faster and it's what's it called it's uh well, more efficient but yeah, so I'm just gonna run the program for you guys. We're using kil weight is in kilograms and what's it called distance in meters, okay? And yeah, and force for force we're using Newton Newton, okay? So yeah, let me just uh, have the calculator also open up here so we can also check our answer at the same time. So I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say hundred. Uh, and then I'm going to do the second mass of second plan, let's say 500,000. The distance between them is. So, yeah, there we go. 3.37, which is 3.37 newtons. So, answer is correct. But let's just go back to the code so I can just explain it further. So, we're just going to have a double mass one, mass two, and then distance. This is also going to enter the mass one and mass two between the two planets and the distance. And yeah, so this is, I'm just going to type, type this out for you guys. It's going to be uh, mass one times mass two. And this is what distance square. Okay. And this is uh, mass one. Minus two multiplied okay over what is it called distance squared let's put it in the there. and here is the the final calculation for this which is this okay this Put this in brackets. No, forget the comment. And the real constant, which is this. Okay. And yeah. So that's the top process between by like two the the function. This could be an nth function. If this is an nth function, instead of doing this, we're just gonna like, uh, instead of writing this line, which says the algebra, we're just gonna we're just gonna return. We call it H like that. Let me just fix this button off for turn. Okay. 
So that's how you do it, basically. This was an int function, okay? Let me just show you guys. It's an int function. It's gonna work for you guys. So here you go, it works. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna like, go back to void and so yeah. So yeah, guys, I'll just run the program. Actually, I already run the program. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is the function right here, and this is the main function right here, guys. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. So yeah, I'll catch you guys.